The rule of law is the principle that stresses the supremacy of the law over all other considerations. This is based on the following. 1. Principle of impartiality, no individual should be unduly punished or deprived of his rights or property except by the violation of the law of the land that must be administered and established by the law court after normal trial. 2. Principle of equality before the law, no individual is above the law, both the rulers and the ruled are equal before the law, irrespective of their social status. The law that applies to the ruled must apply to the rulers. 3. Principles of Fundamental Human Right Fundamental human rights are inalienable rights of the individual person and therefore should not be deprived of any individual by the government. Features of the Rule of Law 1. Citizens must not be denied of their rights. 2. No individual person should be unduly punished without trial in court. 3. Every body is equal before the law. 4. The law of the land is supreme. 5. The legal system must work in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution. 6. Any body suspected of any crime should be granted fair hearing. Limitations of the Rule of Law 1. The immunity of the President. 2. Declaration of State of Emergency 3. Diplomatic Immunity, Diplomats are not arrested or prosecuted no matter their crime 4. Inadequate Judicial Independence 5. It stresses supremacy of the law and equality of all citizens 6. It fights against unlawful detention Rule of Law and its Significance 1. It promotes political stability in a state. 2. It facilitates the operation of separation of powers. 3. It guarantees right to personal liberties. 4. It fights against the emergence of a tyrannical and despotic leadership. 5. Illiteracy and ignorance on the part of the citizens. 6. Parliamentary immunity. Separation of powers advocates for complete separation of powers among the three arms of government, that is the legislature, executive, and the judiciary so that each arm can act as a check on the other. Relevance of separation of powers 1. Promotes efficiency and orderliness. 2. It safeguards the liberty of the citizens as no arm of government wield absolute power. 3. It is the best insurance against tyranny. 4. It prevents the abuse of power. 5. It is democratic and enhances political stability. Checks and balances. This is the concept that helps to ensure that each organ of government performs its constitutional functions without encroaching on the authority of the other. Constitutionalism, is a principle that limits the powers of government to the provision of the constitution. It helps to protect the citizens from abuse of their rights by government. Major Objectives of Constitutionalism 1. It helps to protect citizens' rights. 2. It upholds the rights of citizens to vote and be voted for. 3. It upholds equality before the law. 4. It upholds constitutional means for the enforcement of people's rights. Political participation is the process of voluntary involvement of the citizens in the political activities of their country. Ways of Participating in Politics 1. Taking active part in electioneering campaigns. 2. Assisting political parties of your choice. 3. Belonging to a political party. 4. Supporting candidates during election. 5. Helping to disseminate party propaganda. 6. Casting vote during election. Benefits of political participation. 1. Promotes legitimacy and support for the government in power. 2. Helps to create political awareness. 3. Makes a government reliable and accountable. Political apathy. This is a concept used to explain people's lack of interest in political activities. It can be caused by illiteracy, poverty, 
inferiority complex etc. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get updated on more videos. Subscribe, like and share on all platforms. To connect with us log on to our website at www.funumu.com. On Facebook and Twitter at Funumu Education. Or send us an email at contact at funumu.com.